Hi, I'm Lo Dima. I am VP of Commercial Product here at Cinch. And today I'm going to be answering the internet's questions around RCS. This is CPAS support. Hey, I'm excited about RCS because I'm a messaging nerd, and this is, the, this is the best thing that's happened to messaging in years. How much more shopping is it gonna trigger for me? Well, let's see, I've already bought so many fake plants. <laughs> How can RBM improve customer engagement compared to traditional SMS? But one of the benefits that you're gonna see with RBM is as a consumer, when you're interfacing with the brand, you're going to see the logo of the brand. You're going to see the name of the brand. So what does that do as an end consumer? Well, I'm gonna trust the brand more because I'm seeing it's that actual brand. I don't get all the hype about RCS. It's just a name and a logo at the top. Well, first of all, the name and the logo at, a to at the top, is it is a big deal. Not just at the top, but it's also in your message thread. You see that name and logo in your message thread. Instant brand recognition. Once you go into the message itself, you're gonna see carousels, that rich experience. It's, it's creating an in-app experience without having an app. So if I'm a brand and I don't have a high adoption into my app, RCS might be the next place for you to explore because you're getting that in-app experience without having the burden of creating that application yourself. You're going to know when your customer actually read that message and that gives you metrics to know Ooh, is it a good time for me to send? What time, what time of day should I send this message? How many messages? It might be message overload for my customer. It's gonna give you better un understanding the resp response rates from your customers. It's gonna give you overall uh, more customer engagement type metrics. How do I ensure that my RBM message comply with the regulatory requirements? You really wanna find a good partner that has trusted carrier relationships and connections and really understands the complexity of the ecosystem. You know, truly, we have some of the best people working at Cinch that, under, that are very close to Google, that are very close to the operators. So we know as the requirements of all, because we're right there, we understand, and we have these great partnerships. So we're able to really quickly evolve with the changing and shifting of requirements when they happen. I've been hearing about RCS for years now. Uh, is it really going to happen? And do I need to do anything? Uh, yes, RCS is going to happen. Uh, Cinch, we're putting a lot of effort around RCS to make sure when it is ready to go in the United States that our customers are ready for it. In my mind, there's three things that you should do to prepare for it. Number one, uh, read the research out there. There's a lot of research about customer engagement, what it means to certain brands. Understand what that research is and see and understand what your problem is that you're trying to solve and how can you solve that problem through RCS based on the research that's out there. I would say number two is partner with a CPAS provider, just like Cinch. Partner with someone like us, understand what RCS is gonna mean for you and understand when you need to be ready for it when it happens. Number three, make sure that when you're ready to launch your RCS campaign, that you're ready to respond to customers when they when they reach out to you, either an auto response or a chatbot. Chatbots are going to explode in the RCS space, or really just having a person behind answering your customers' questions. But these the most successful RCS campaigns are going to be the ones that, as a brand, that they respond to what their their end customers are asking. Adopting new channels is so much work. Why would I want to adopt RCS? Well, it's actually not that much work. When you, when you interface with Cinch or CPaaS provider, we make it easier for you to adopt our services through our back backend process. So it's actually not that much harder for you to use, consume RCS on Cinch. Is RCS gonna cost a million dollars? It won't cost a million dollars. We don't know exactly how much it's going to cost yet. We do know that the carriers want to make sure that it's not, uh, it's, it's on par with the SMS and MMS offering, but we don't know exactly what those numbers are. But part of our superpower ensures we are working with our carriers to understand which direction they're headed. Is RCS just a marketing thing? No, RCS is definitely not just a marketing thing. Customer service and chatbots plays a lot into what our, where RCS is going. You have a smart chatbot, then you don't have to have an operator sitting behind that chatbot necessarily. RCS, RBM, what are all these different acronyms anyway? Okay, uh, RBM is a subset of RCS. 
RCS is, uh, creates that rich communication really between two people, point to point. Um, RBM is the rich business messaging really that rides on top of RCS. So if you can think of in the SMS space, you have P2P, person to person communication, which is kind of like RCS. And then you have A to P, application to person, which is kind of like RBM. So it's really, it's the same type of, uh, same type of technology, just evolving it to the brand space. Hey, I found out that, uh, that the Pottery Barn uh, short code, we do service it. We did hashtag Pottery Barn. I'm like, <laughs> they should respond or something.